Hello and welcome to another X-Plane 11 video. Today we're going to fly UPS 2998 service from Portland where we landed last up to Anchorage. It should take us about three hours to fly. Um, we're doing this in the SSG 747-8 freighter and uh, it should be a fun flight. Um, this flight does normally take place at night, but I would much rather be able to see stuff, so we're going to do it during the day. I have turned the plane on, started the IRS's aligning and such. It's loaded with fuel and payload, so we've just really got to do some uh, programming and whatnot, and we'll be on our way. We are going to use... Um, I've added some Lua scripts. Since I've taken XEnviro out of the equation, I've added some Lua scripts, and... Um, We've got default cloud textures instead of active sky cloud textures. We're using active sky to inject the weather. Um, but yeah, we've added some Lua scripts that are a little bit different. They're part of an X-Vision preset, but that X-Vision preset was giving me some issues. So I may take another look at that later. I'm not sure how well X-Vision and presets are working uh, now that Vulcan is a thing. But anyway... All that to say, let's go ahead and hop in the flight deck and get started. We'll hop down to the FMC and we are flying Portland to Anchorage. And we are UPS 2998. We'll activate and execute that. Our departure out of Portland will be off of 10 right. Uh, Simbrief gave us no SID, so we'll stick with that. Good have, yep, okay, cool. 10 right, good. And then we are going direct TOU. Direct price. Direct B K A Layer Direct J O H, which puts us into the arrival. So on the arrival side of things, we will take the Yeska six arrival. J O H transition on to Let's do the RNAV for 3 3. And let me just pull up what that transition should be very quickly. I should always be smart and know that I'm going to do this and get prepared beforehand, but I never do it. What would. I'm just bumping through these. Uh, transition options to see what they would look like if we were to use them. We'll use the Hopper transition. All right, we'll put all of that in. That's got an interesting turn in it that I have almost zero confidence that this plane will fly it properly. So let's go and see. We'll step through, see how things look. Oh, that looks great. And then it just goes completely off the rails. I mean, that is kind of right. It'll kind of work. We'll see how it goes. It'll probably be an adventure. 
Anyways, we'll go to the init page. Our reserves for this flight are going to be four tons. And our cost index is going to be 320. I finally selected a flight time that really bumped that up. And the cruising altitude will be flight level 380. Thrust limit, let's just put in 35 degrees, which is not much of a D rate, but I'm not really sure what to expect here. Use flap 20 for takeoff, and that will give us our V speeds. So we're in good shape there. We come back up to the pilot view. We can run the range out there a little bit. Uh, we might want to worry about terrain. Uh, sure, we'll worry about terrain. Why not? We'll set 380. Goodness, 380 in the MCP. Okay. There's a plugin that lets you avoid the uh, zooming nonsense, but I uh, don't have it installed or configured. So, I'll just have to deal with it. Just go ahead and set 380. It'll take us a minute to get there. So I am recording this on Friday, August 13th, which is the day that Flight Factor officially announced the V2 of their 777. And I have to tell you, I am over the moon excited about it just ecstatic all right that view is a little bit off we'll fix that and save that real quick looking at the overhead we need to turn on these crossfeed valves and turn on all of these fuel pumps APU bleed yes packs yes and Hydraulic pumps one and four to aux, two and three to auto, and beacon to both. The APU is up and running, and we're on its power now, so we can lose that GPU, and lose those lights in the cargo deck. And I think we are pretty much ready for pushback. So we'll let Better Pushback get hooked up and we will get underway. All right, Better Pushback is hooked up. We can release the parking brake. Starting pushback. And, you may start engines. and we'll start engines one and four. All right, there are good starts on three and four. Let's start one and two.
can't really hear anything. Hopefully that's not a problem. Alright, there are good starts on 1 and 2, and the pushback should be done any moment now, so demand pumps 1 and 4 can go back to auto, the APU can shut off. Let's look at fuel and see how long it is before we need to adjust the uh, fuel configuration. Well, we need to adjust it now or it will give us problems. So we lose those cross feed valves and we lose these fuel pumps. That will keep us from getting the fuel tank uh, configuration warning. Come on, better push back. Are we done yet? Let's put out flat 20. Let's make sure our trim is set. Oh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this today, huh? All right, better push back. Stop. Stop it. Whatever you're doing, just stop. eat it when it does this. Alright, takeoff trim is good, it turns out. Okay, are you kidding me right now? Operation complete. Task yeah, we did about six donuts in the taxiway. I hope it's complete. Stand by. Turn on the transponder. We'll take a taxi light from the auto throttles and we will wait on better pushback to get out of the way. Go away. Better push back. Go away. Okay, bye. We'll take weather radar and traffic. There won't be any traffic, but we'll put it on there anyway. And we'll start our taxi for 10 right. We'll have this scenery linked in the video description. I'm not sure that it is what I thought it was. I thought it was short final design. I'm not so sure anymore. I may need to take another look at that. Um, and we are flying, I believe, to a $0 Paywares Anchorage. Once again, I'm not 100% certain, but I did check and there is scenery there, so we're flying to whatever is there. And it should be a lovely little flight. We like towing a GPU with us or something? What is that? I 
have no idea what that... Oh, I know. I think I know what it's from. I think it's from Ground Hand. Nope. Must not be. No idea where that's coming from. That's going to be a little awkward if uh, we hear random diesel generator sounds the whole flight. Hopefully that'll sort itself out. Be nice if it would sort itself out. Almost there. So we'll turn on all the lights. sounds like a door is opened. I don't get it. That's frustrating. This is one of the uh, joys or curses of flight simming. Is stuff only ever works right about 20% of the time. And the rest of the time is all tinkering, trying to get everything to work together appropriately. Anyways, let's sync up this heading before we go anywhere. We'll apply some power. Engines look good. We'll set toga. Eighty knots. V1 Rotate V2 That's right, we'll bring the gear up Climbing like a rocket ship. We'll put the autopilot in. We'll look for some of those flap retraction speeds. We can bring it in to 10 at the moment. We'll go for flaps 5. for flap one. And we'll go for flaps up. And that is us off out of Portland.
Welcome back. Two hours, 45 minutes into the flight. It's time to get set up for our descent and arrival into Anchorage. We use auto brake one. We use full flaps. And our final approach fixed altitude is 1,200 feet. So we'll put that in the MCP for now. And that will be us ready for the descent. But we're going to have to scroll all the way down, which is going to take uh, a few years. Let's also set the uh, moon, so I'll go pull up my Navigraph on the other screen and look at that approach chart. Decision height is 463 feet. put in 460 and the last thing is the weather in Anchorage currently is the altimeter is 2973 winds are 270 degrees at 5 knots which if I recall correctly, it's fine. Yep, it's fine. And all the rest of that is fine. All right, so that is us set up for the approach and the descent, and I'll come back when we're on final.
Welcome back. We're turning on to final approach into Anchorage. Into Sorta. Take the autopilot out. Oh, actually out. Slide on throttle as well. I don't know. I don't remember how to properly do that uh, in the SSG 747. And I don't have the keys bound for it, unfortunately. Anyways, my aircraft. One thousand. Five hundred. The center line, but we will hit the port. Minimums three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Pictures out. Finally, took a couple of tries. We'll still reverse. Bring the speed brakes in and the flaps in. Let's start the APU. Vacate to our right. I don't know why I turned turn offs on? I'm not going to need those. And I'm not really sure where we should park, so we're just going to pull into a stand up here on the right.
a little crooked, but that's okay. Set the parking brake. Turn on APU power and lose engines one through four. And that is us down in Anchorage. Landing rate, for those of you who are curious, was negative eight feet per minute because we were floating like there was no tomorrow. Anyways, this has been UPS 2998, service from Portland up to Anchorage. I forgot to turn off the beacon. Oh, well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed the flight. Um, I'm not sure where we're going to fly from here, but we'll figure something out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.